Well, hello again. Happy Friday. Current temperatures right now across West Texas are in the mid 50s. Some places still in the upper 50s. El Dorado, for example, 59 degrees. Sweetwater, 58. 54 in Abilene, 57 here in San Angelo. It's been a pretty cool day. Well, a pretty nice day, even though it's been a little bit cool out. You know, we've had the sun shining, no clouds in sight, and those lack of clouds is what's going to help it get pretty cold tonight. We're going to see those temperatures dip into the upper 20s in some places, lower 30s in others. We're looking to get to 29 in San Angelo, 31 up in Abilene, Baird and Albany sitting right on the freezing line at 32 degrees. But we'll rebound back to the 60s tomorrow. 65 is going to be our high with sunny skies, and then 73 on Sunday. With partly cloudy skies and then across the entire Lone Star State. We're going to be seeing a pretty nice weekend ahead of us. Austin, San Antonio, Dallas, and Houston all going to be in the mid-60s with pretty sunny skies on Saturday and then upper 60s to lower 70s on Sunday with either sunny or partly cloudy skies. Houston actually a little on the cloudy side on Sunday, but still with some pretty comfortable temperatures. Now, I actually mentioned this graphic last night talking about how as we approach the month of March, we are getting closer to that time of year where freezing temperatures are kind of a thing of the past for us. But before we can quite get to that point, we still have one more big cool down or well, big freeze coming next week. At the moment, details are kind of uncertain as far as what type of precipitation we'll see but the things we do know are by mid next week Wednesday we have this cold front that'll be moving through the state bringing this arctic air along with it there will be a wintry mix but as far as if it's going to be snow rain or freezing rain is uncertain right now and the totals are uncertain but we'll be getting more details on that in the coming days and by Monday to Tuesday of course we will have a full forecast detailing what we're expecting with this next system so until then enjoy this weekend because as we know now that warmth is not going to last very long and then once we get over this hump of those freezing temperatures next week we'll be trying to be inching closer and closer to those spring-like patterns just a quick reminder March 1st marks the first day of meteorological spring where we start to see the temperatures feel more spring-like but astronomical spring comes later on in the month of March so we're almost there but not quite yet but here's a seven day very nice weekend ahead of us. Monday is going to be our warmest day of the forecast period, getting up to the 80s. But we do have some isolated rain chances along with a small weaker front that will be coming through, offering some cooler temperatures on Tuesday, still above average before that bigger system comes in on Wednesday, bringing us a really big cool down before we start to be on a warming trend by the end of next week. Same in Abilene, that same pattern. We'll have that big cool down by mid next week before we try to pick back up in time for next weekend. Back to you, Tim.